What's going on guys? This is the Erie Better Beer Bureau back at you with another beer review. I'm Pat, Maury, Dave, and Mark. Today we have Life is Like from Cigar City out of Tampa, Florida. This is a collaboration with McKellar. It's an imperial sweet stout brewed with cherries and cacao nibs and aged in bourbon barrels. What did you say? It's like 15%? 15%, yep. Wow. Yeah, there's no shortage <laughs> yeah. of any of the advertised flavors, yeah. especially heavy, heavy the bourbon. Roast. Yeah, the bourbon is first and foremost, mm. along with a big, big sweetness in yeah. there. Yeah, as the well. cherry specifically, cherries. Yeah, there's getting, a distinctive I mean. vanilla and butterscotch underneath the co yeah. cocoa in this. I'm getting the vanilla from the bourbon, absolutely. A um, little bit of that chocolate character. Mm -hmm. I see that now. Just I dark wasn't fruit. getting this real big up front, but yeah. I don't know if I was doing it blind if I could specifically pick out cherry, but right. then I know it's in There's here. A slight yeah. There is There's a little bit of a cherry component yeah. There's going on. Pitted dark fruits Fruitiness. in there, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Guys. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's real sweet. <clears throat> real nice, though. Mm -hmm. The Olive. cherry is definitely chocolate covered cherry. That's kind of mm -hmm. how they promote it almost. And it's it's uh, nice, but there's a nice oaky finish on mm -hmm. the back end. Yeah, the you know from the nose, I was gonna be, I was really looking out for a big bourbon bomb, mm -hmm. but I'm not getting that on the taste. I mean, the bourbon's right. there, but it's definitely not dominating the other flavors. I get a, actually a lot of the cherry. Yeah, for fifty percent, I'm surprised it's. Not more bourbon forward. And it's fairly easy to drink. It's, I mean, yeah, it's going yeah, down for 15%. Yeah, a, it's, I mean, I don't get a lot of alcohol. I get no bourbon. You can tell that it's a big beer. Right. Just kind of like the aroma, but it's not, the alcohol is not distracting from the other flavors whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the alcohol is actually very subdued on the taste. Yeah. It's, this could be a dangerous beer at 15%. Real, yeah, yeah, it's going to be. It's real slick, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, the mouthfeel is definitely trademark Cigar City. Right. However, it's a little more slick than some of the it other is. imperial stouts. It is. It's slick and oily. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. And that cherry, uh, you know, that's in there, it's definitely there, right. but it's subtle, and I kind of like that. It's not taking over the beer, and it works well with the chocolate flavor that's in yeah. there as well. Kind of a little bit of a molasses type of flavor right, going right. on for me as well. I get nervous with cherry stouts <laughs> because I've had a few you know bad encounters with an infected stout and you know how they get that kind of sour cherry flavor right. when they go bad this doesn't taste not that at way, all though. Not you at know all. i mean you actually get some solid re real cherry flavor out of it and not that like pseudo infection kind or of do you get like the flavor. cough drop kind of cherry flavor absolutely right. yeah, yeah, and right. it doesn't medicinal, taste right? big and <clears throat> medicinal and artificial at all it's real nice all right for the cigar city and mckellar life is like I'm going to give this beer a solid four and a quarter out of five. It's very tasty. This is a solid beer. The oiliness of the texture of it, though, is a little distracting whenever I'm drinking. You know, <laughs> it's it leaves a film on the inside mm -hmm. of your mouth. But the flavors are great. It's mm -hmm. a good mix of cocoa, cherry, a nice solid oaky finish. Very enjoyable. Four and a quarter out of five. I also am going to give this beer a four and a quarter out of five. I was going back and forth between that and a four point five because like pat said the flavors are really awesome and uh i mean the alcohol is well hidden it's it's a really really good beer i mean the bees wanted on the action yeah, too yeah. and you can't blame them i'm no. gonna go four and a quarter yeah i'm going one notch lower i'm gonna go a four out of five the flavors like you guys basically just said are all there i could use a touch more carbonation i could use a little bit more mouthfeel and i really agree with you pat the the <coughs> slick mouthfeel is almost distracting to me from some of the flavors on it but it's definitely a really it's a solid beer i mean in a four out of five it's it's much above average and it's in some of those upper echelon of beers mm -hmm. it's just not in that elite category of beers for me anyway um so i'm gonna go four out of five yeah i'm gonna agree with uh, dave i'm gonna give it a 4.0 um you know all the roastiness and the you know your trademark stout you know character they're all there um it's a little bit too sweet for me. Uh, it's got a medium mouthfeel, but that sweetness is getting 
a little more hard to take. Now, it's a delicious beer. I mean, a, you know, like he said, four out of five is an exceptional beer, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit too sweet for me. So I'm just gonna knock it down a little bit to a 4.0. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.